The green thistle beetle is a beetle that originates from Europe, North Africa and North Asia. It was brought to New Zealand in 2006 and released in 2007 to help with Californian thistle control. The green thistle beetle is used because it attacks a number of thistle species. These, this includes Californian nodding and winged thistles. The adults will eat holes in the leaves and the larvae we will defoliate the plant. Before we had green thistle beetles live right here on the farm, the best option just for a conventional farm that's not organic was to spray twice over two years. A blanket spray would produce a reasonable result. Otherwise you can roll them or crush them in wet weather and with a bit of luck the stems will rot. Considering just how effective these beetles would be in comparison to spray, the spray gives you a result over two years you'll get a result that you're looking for. The beetles were first liberated here in December 2009, just 12 little beetles and we carefully observed them at their liberation site week by week. The next year there were a few there and the next year there was no sign at all and we just really thought that the population had failed to establish on our place in windy or cold conditions. However, absolutely much to my astonishment, I found a thriving population up above there this summer, all these years later. Then further study established that they have spread all over our 400 hectare farm. And they're still just in a build-up situation so that there are just thistles heavily damaged here and there, but a large number of beetles. And uh, um, I'm confident now that another five or eight years should see something in the order of, of maybe 60% or even more of the Californian thistles reduced. On top of that, a bonus is that they're attacking the nodder thistle and the Scotch thistle as well. Just considering the cost of the beetle versus the spray, there's no real cost except the nuisance value to us of the Californian thistle. The beetle hasn't cost us to establish. The cost really with the beetle is just waiting for them to establish and build up critical firepower to go after the thistles. With regard to neighbours, um, they're very interested in what's happening, even if uh, one of them is a person who's sprayed thistles. Some of the benefits of using the green thistle beetle over herbicide control is the fact that it's non-toxic, uh, it can be used in areas that it's uneconomic to use herbicides. It's a great option for organic farmers and once the beetle is established it requires no duty of care. The green thistle beetle is not an eradication tool. It, in the United States it has reduced thistle densities by 88% in some areas. So it, it's, it's not for every situation but in many situations where farming is less intense or it's uneconomic to spray, it's, it's a great, great option. It does take a lot longer to establish than, than the quicker option of herbicide use, but it's more cost effective over a long period of time. If a farmer is interested in establishing green thistle beetle on their farm, the first thing they do is contact the Waikato Regional Council by a security team. The second thing is to find a suitable place on the farm to release the beetles, and preferably a place where thistles don't need to be eradicated, somewhere warm and sheltered, basically somewhere where they can feed, breed and spread.